everybody, my name is Raquel Richards and I am a senior nursing student at the University of Akron. Hi, I'm Emily Kolick. I'm also a nursing student um, in my senior year at Akron. And we are going to show you a tour inside of our nursing building, Mary Gladwin Hall. Let's go. One of the reasons I chose University of Akron in the nursing school is because they offer a lot of advanced practice nursing programs. Um, you need about a year to two years of uh, RN experience depending on what degree you want and they offered a lot of great top uh, programs here at Akron. We are on the second floor of Mary Gladwin right now. Um, this is where all of the professor's offices are. Uh, if you have to review an exam or if you just want to go ask them a question or anything like that, this is where you can find them. These are the nursing administrative offices. If you have any questions about scheduling, this is where you'll come for help and to get those answers. So these are portraits of all of the past nursing alumni here at the University of Akron. And one day if you come here, you'll have a picture of yourself up on these walls as well. This is the class composite of the class of 2019. And as you can see here, we are gonna be adding the class of 2020 and 2021 once those pictures are ready as well. So this is one of the classrooms that you will have lectures in. Our, our classes here at the University of Akron are hybrid classes. So sometimes you have it online and other times you have it in person in a classroom like this. Um, usually we use the screens and the, pro the professor will project the PowerPoints onto there and then they may write on the board with any other information. They usually are pretty full so it is a good way to meet other students, find study buddies and things like that. As you can see here our NCLEX passing rate is 94.21%. That is higher than the state of Ohio and the national average. This is the sim lab that you will learn hands-on skills in. We're going to show you a peek inside at a live simulation going on. Every single sim we give you something that keeps us fast for the So that is the live critical care simulation. You'll have that class your senior year. They are working on a cardio version on the mannequin right now. And we also have in this classroom during your OB rotation, we have a simulation of a live birth with the mannequins. So this is where you will walk into LRC, you'll grab gloves, get hand sanitizer, and then you'll check in for your class here, and then you'll continue into our lab. You can see we have several hospital beds set up. We have Emily here who is doing an IV start for us that we can show you guys. And there you go. So here at University of Akron, um, in our LRC, we try to keep a similar environment with similar equipment that you would see in your clinical setting at the hospital. Um, there are two major hospitals in the city of Akron. We have Akron General and um, Suma Akron City. So we try to offer um, different IV pumps so that you get hands-on um, equipment experience. experience that you would in each hospital. So here we have the Baxter pump where you would see it at Akron General slash Cleveland Clinic. And then over here we have the Alaris pump which you'll have um, hands-on time at Suma Akron City. Um, we also have oxygen set up. Um, it actually turns on so you can administer oxygen to the mannequins. Uh, we have an Ambu bag and we have a suction equipment as well as a blood pressure cuff. Here at University of Akron as nursing students, you uh, are involved in a lot of community experiences. Um, you help out in clinics. We also have a class devoted to community nursing. Um, here in the lab too, you'll practice skills that can um, lead into a potential student tech position. Uh, you just need about one year of experience uh, in the clinical lab and then you're able to work and get hands-on experience while getting paid. Also in clinical, you'll get uh, one day here devoted into the LRC lab, and then you'll have one to two days devoted in an actual clinical hospital setting. So each student has their own workstation, and then faculty comes around and helps each one individually. Um, you will have your own mannequin during OB. You'll have your own baby set up here, and everybody does kind of their own thing, but the uh, instructors walk around and make sure everybody's okay and clarify any questions. Here at the University of Akron in the College of Health and Human Sciences, we also get experience working with other 
um, profession. So like respiratory therapy, um, PAs, medical students, things like that. You kind of get an interprofessional experience like you would have in the hospital. Um, here at Akron, we also do a ceremony called the White Coat Ceremony. Um, during your sophomore year, you'll do that. It's kind of like an entrance into the program, a welcome to the nursing program. And then your senior year, you'll do a pinning ceremony, which is kind of like a send off into the uh, RN world. Um, and just to congratulate you for finishing the degree and getting your BSN. After graduation, we both actually have jobs lined up here in Akron. Where are you going to be working? I'm actually going to be in the medical ICU at Akron City Hospital. Um, I was able to get that job by being a student tech here, which again, that's one of the great perks of being at Akron and near so many hospitals. How about you, Raquel? I have a job in labor and delivery also at SUM Akron City Hospital. I got that job through my tech experience as well. So if we can give you one word of advice, it would be to try your best to get a tech position. It really does help um, get you more comfortable with patient interaction, um, different procedures, things like that. And it gets you that extra experience outside of the clinical setting that you get here offered at Akron. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully one day you'll be an alumni here in the uh, University of Akron Nursing School.